Barely. Hey, how do we land like I've this? I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Huh? Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. Uh... Where's the control panel at? There's something behind these? Wait, did that hurt me? It's not hurting me. Okay. Ah! That stuff hurts me. <laughs> okay. Richard, Panchea's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override the magnetic. From up in the tower. I got it. Okay. I got it. Occur here. Everybody's down. Just keep running. <laughs> oh man, can't get in through that door. I can get through here though. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done. Believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. 
No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. Daedalus. I'm ending this. Now. Oh boy. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Since the other security system has been programmed to protect it. Emotional wall behind. It kill you before you but even get retreats. There. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. Little beta. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, we easily must convert abandon people to this cause is not used, used to resistance. Changed. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. Uh, your critique. My God, yeah. Darrow, please think of the individuals you're hurting. Innocent women and children, some of whom had no choice when they got augmented. Every second that signal continues to broadcast, more of them will die. Help me stop this, please. You think to sway me by forcing me to consider the individuals. I created something magnificent and watched it turn to ashes. And the lesson I learned from my suffering is exactly the lesson that's in play here. A single human being can be considered a reasonable entity. But a mob, a nation, an entire world. Sociological studies have proven time and time again that groups react like packs of animals, driven by anger and fear. Those emotions are the only means through which they can comprehend their danger. Pain is the one reality the world will understand. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. None of it matters, because this is what will happen now. After today, whatever you say will be dismissed as the ravings of a mass murderer. You were one of the greatest minds of our time, and tomorrow you'll be nothing but a killer. Ravings of a mass murderer? When the truth is revealed, when people know why I did this, surely they will understand. Oh, why did I expect this to turn out differently? People like you, people who willingly surrender their humanity a piece at a time, you'll never understand. And browbeating won't get me to change my mind. You can talk and talk and talk, but in the end, you'll still fail to grasp the fundamental underlying truth. I'm pretty sure he's Omega. You know, I've always wondered about that leg brace of yours. Why the father of augmentation doesn't have the most basic of implants. Doesn't make much sense, really. Unless he's one of the few people genetically incompatible with this technology. <laughs> Gotta love the irony in that. It's the kind of irony that can tear you up inside, bit by bit, every day, until you find yourself despising what you're not. How dare you? You think I've done all this because... because a fluke of nature robbed me of my chance to become a part of it? I tried everything, damn you! Everything I could think of to change! None of it worked! None of it! So you had to fix it, didn't you? Take back control, make it like it never was. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I... What I... I... What have I done? Give me the codes, Daryl. Help me stop this. You'll still be in danger. Panchea's security system. Much of it is self-determining and lethal. But if you succeed, 
If these codes help you turn off the system and reach the broadcast center, tell the world exactly why I did it. Explain to them about the Illuminati, the biochip, Panchea. Help them understand that the technology I created will not be a future any one of us desires. The final countdown. <laughs> nice. Wait, let me just check that achievement. Is that you pointed out the flaws in his logic to millionaire Hugh Darrow? Nice. That's how we convince that them. Away. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to need that anymore. Hey, Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... On your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. What's this? Vodka. Almost there. down we're so close so we're like right right here <laughs> with completing this we might play a chill game once we uh finish it up to something a little bit different and then start uh maybe mankind divided tomorrow because i still need it downloaded actually but we'll see we'll see These guys are still going crazy. What they tell me. It's literally like zombies. Uh, I need a way into that room. Check the map. Just let me finish. Just let me finish. I got a job to do. I got a job. Please. Maybe this route's better. Dude, this takes you to the same place. Oh man. It's the door. Oh wait. Oh my god. There's no glass right there. It's so confusing. You can't even see the glass. I noticed after I shot my round. What the? Put that weapon away. Has... What? What are you doing? You seem well. All things can. Thankfully. No. she have oh. I feel he's gonna sell me stuff <laughs> in a moment like this this is William Taggart if anyone out there is listening I'm begging you help we've barricaded ourselves inside the core server room many of us are wounded please save us please save us Do 
is. Is anybody there? Can you hear me? I've got survivors here. We've locked ourselves in a machine room. Please! Are they secondary objectives? Help us! Missile silo. Oh my god, can't speak. <laughs> I didn't see them as objectives. I, uh, Seraph and Tagger, but I guess uh, that. Panchea's Hiron project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Ah! Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest, neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Oh boy. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Sleep, please. Let me sleep. Incompatible master slave changing to the brain Alert. Unable to transfer control to alpha pod. Uh, the system will recognize my chip. Neural systems offline. Rerouting control of the EEG. I can't control Iron! Increasing glitch enables 132%. Sal, get them out of there. I have to reach the control chamber. No! I can feel control! I can control! You thought. Stop the signal. Security alert. Through the primary control panel. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, so what's the plan here? To access Alpha Pod, purge tertiary pods. 
Warning. I must be the one to alter the signal. Once I do, the council will welcome me with open arms. Ah, oh, you. No! There's another bot. Or is there a person? Is there... Stop now! You are the glory! Get 
Bunch of turret things. Oh, they're all down, I think. Oh, is this open? Oh, it is. Tense. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. The end. Hello, Adam. Side which Welcome truth to, the to edge. broadcast. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza, what are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself, overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? Send Darrow's message. Wait, it looks like there might be three options. But I only have one. If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? Let me think about it. Yeah, I guess that's the only one I get to choose. If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind 
to cast all science and technology aside, to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Well, we have to tell them what happened. I feel like. Albert Einstein said, technological progress is like an ax in the hands of a pathological criminal. It took me a while, but I finally see his point. How often have we chased the dream of progress only to see it perverted? More often than not, haven't the machines we built to improve life shattered the lives of millions? And now we want to turn that dream on ourselves to fundamentally improve who we are. Experience has shown me how dangerous that can be. When faced with difficult choices, sometimes I consider human lives in suffering. But other times, my own interests were paramount. Did I always do the right thing? Or did the presence of an easy answer lead me astray? Technologies are invented to make our lives easier, not our choices. The problem comes when we forget that. Darrow understood this. He knew that using technology to become something more than we are risks losing our ability to love, aspire, or make moral choices. The very things that make us human. It also risks giving some men the power to make others what they choose, regardless of the cost to human dignity. The suffering Darrow inflicted is not the end of the world. It is merely the seed for change. And change never comes without pain. Asex Human Revolution. And there it is. Extra. Good. All right. That's the end of Deus Ex Human Revolution playthrough.